audience with Love to Hate, back again with another playthrough video. This time we're going to be playing Elf Journey to the North uh, Pole game. Yeah, Journey from the North Pole game, excuse me. Uh, this is a game from Funko Games and Prospero Hall. Uh, we are going to be doing a three-player playthrough as I have uh, my son and Sam on the other side of the table here. Uh, and we are going to go ahead and take an overhead view. All right, so here we go. We, uh, as I said, we're set up for a three-player game. You've got me on this side here, and our son is going to be on that corner, and Sam will be over here on this corner. And uh, just to go over the rules real quick, we've got Buddy the Elf right here, who is going to be starting in the North Pole. We are going to use these cards over here that, uh, excuse me, that, let me get one of these out that we place in front of Buddy, and he's going to follow the arrow on our cards, and we use these to make a trail to eventually lead him to the locations on the board. We're going to draw a card here. I'll show you what one of these cards looks like. It'll have three locations on it, and you are trying to get, your, get Buddy the Elf to your three locations faster than the other players at the table. Each of these cards are different. They're going to have different locations on them. Uh, when Buddy reaches a location, meaning when any part of one of these cards touches one of the locations, then we take that location tile and we slot it in the furthest left scoring slot. And uh, the number of stars underneath that will tell you how many points that location is worth. So you want to try to get him to your locations on your card faster than the other players as they will be uh, worth more points the faster you do it. Some of the other locations on the board, uh, there are these gingerbread men on these slots here. Uh, you, If you touch any part of that on your turn, you get to take the gingerbread man tile and there's a number of stars underneath on the other side of that ranging from one to three. Uh, one has one, two of them have two, and one of them has three stars. There are also these ice flows here. And just like in the movie, Buddy gets on an ice flow and he travels uh, to North America, I guess. And so whenever you put a card on one of these ice flows, you essentially are teleporting to the other side of the board and you're going to play your next card on that ice flow. This can only be done once per game. The last and final place is the uh, North Pole, or excuse me, New York City down here. And uh, whenever uh, any car touches New York City, uh, that player will get to take the New York City token, which is worth two points. That indicates the end of the game. And we will count up points at that point. Whoever has the most wins. The other way the game can end is if all of these cards are gone, uh, they're used up, and that would indicate the end of the game. If uh, one of your locations doesn't make it out here, then it is worth zero points. So you want to try to make sure to get all your locations to get maximum points. Uh, you can make Buddy go off the board. Uh, you can make the trail go wherever you need it to. And so he could be way out here. Um, that's legal. Uh, the only thing you, you have to do on these cards is wherever the arrowhead is on this card, the next card has to line up with that arrowhead. So like that. Can't be like, like this. That's pretty much it. So we are going to go ahead and uh, we'll draw three cards from this pile, each person. So go ahead and do that. You keep those cards face up for everyone to see. So let's have you put yours right here. That's on frame. And Locke, put yours right here. Um, doesn't anyway, matter. You're just going to use them later. Nope, oh, I got you three. And then I'll take three. And then everybody gets one of these. Keep this secret. Don't show it to anyone. And those are your three locations you're trying to get to. And you don't have to do it in order. You can do those in any order you want. And uh, we are ready to begin. The rules state the player whose birthday is closest to Christmas gets to go first, and that will be Sam. Mm -hmm. So Sam, you have to play at least one of your cards to move Buddy every turn. 
you can play all of your cards. You can play any number. You will draw back up to three or two, excuse me, at the end of your turn. So you have to match it up with the, the arrowhead there. Now, if the arrowhead is ever in the corner, you can do it on this angle, on the corner, or on this angle, however you want. Okay. Oh, I forgot about these. If you ever connect with one of these, you get to draw an extra card. These are one-time use, the first player who gets there. So now Sam, you'll draw two, two new cards, and you'll move Buddy all the way to the last card there. There you go. And now it would be my turn. Uh-oh. And so we have touched Candy Cane Forest. Candy Cane Forest will be our first location that Buddy goes to. I'll get to draw an extra card, so I get three. And Locke, it's your turn. Um, um, so play any one of your cards right here, okay. and you can you can go over cards that have already been played. So you could you could turn them around this way if you needed to. Or you could go off the board, or yep, this way, whatever you need. Okay. Ready? And that way. Nice. That way. Right, he's going to be, you're making him go that way. Are you sure you want him to do that? Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. So draw two new ones. Sam? Two? Yep. Only two. You can play as many as you need to on your turn, but you only get to draw back up to two at the end. Um, these are the same. It's okay. Yep. You have to play at least one. So that's it. Okay. You can't get it. It's already up. Yeah, Candy Cane Forest is already up here. It's already been gotten. Uh, so if Candy Canes are, already, are on his card, mm -hmm. he gets it. He gets three points. Yeah. Yeah. Get it? Yeah. Just because Dad put it there doesn't mean it's only Dad's. Yeah. So you already have that. So now I'll try to get your next one. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right, Sam, it's your turn. I drew two. Did y'all both already go? Oh, you did go. Yeah. All right. All right, it's my turn. Um, I have three of the same cards. That's not good. I'm just going to play the one. Sun, your turn. Okay. Yep. You're going to do that. Then you get that gingerbread man. And keep that secret. Don't let anybody see it. You can look at it. Okay. Mm -hmm. But keep it face down up here. And then, uh, well, the way he had it positioned was more like that. So... That he could get the gingerbread man. And now uh, draw another one. Or you draw two, excuse me. The man that was long. All right, Sam. Actually, this one's the same again. Yeah. They don't they don't turn around like polyominoes or I mean Yeah. You kinda yeah, stuck with the way it, it goes. Alright, yeah. you draw two? What does a gingerbread mean? It's worth points at the end of the game. Yeah. So um, just keep that keep keep your your ties there so it can be seen. Your cards. Good cards. 
That's it. That's all I'm doing. Sun? Oh, yeah. And that's it. That's it. Okay, so world's best coffee is going to count for three points at the end of the game if you have it on your card. Okay. Draw two new ones. And Thank Sam, you. you're up. Uh oh, man, it's a short one. None of these goes away and you can pick it up. <laughs> Seriously, none of them. Yeah. <laughs> this would be creative here. Okay. That's your best move. No, not really. Okay. That seriously. Does that make sense? Yep, that works. Oh. Hold on, hold on. Okay. She can. She's got one more. She can play. Four. Yeah, you can play as many as you have, as many as you want. Okay. All right. Draw two. So draw two, and now it's me. Gingerbread. I am gonna get the gingerbread. Almost touches the animal friends, but it doesn't. Okay. Yeah. Come on, try And son, your turn. Is that it? All you're doing? Yeah. Okay. Sam? I had never, never seen one. There. You don't want that? You don't want that? No. Okay. <laughs> don't play that card. Kind of need them. It. I mean, no, it's not touching it. I'll say that's legal. Okay, <laughs> you can just put them on the card and draw two. And it's over to me. Can you, this game right now? you do. <laughs> So I'll get the gingerbread. We got our, we got our youngest one in the room now, so if you hear some noise, that's that's him. That's <laughs> a baby. And no, no, no. Son, it's your turn. No. Okay, so you're gonna put it right here, I'm guessing. You can't do that. Okay. Oh, oh, come on. Wait, no. It's, you don't want to do that? Yeah. It's sticking this hard. Okay, so you're going to turn them back around, and you're not touching Norwal, pal. Okay, now where is he going? I am touching my Oh, you hands. want him to touch Norwal, pal? Yeah. Okay, well then you need to play a different card. That one's not going to touch it. But these are the only two I got. I don't then... Welcome to mom's life. <laughs> what card do you want him to do? You want him... Yeah, that one touches. So, yeah. All right, so we're going to say that he has visited Narwhal Pal. All right, you're done? Yeah. Okay. Draw two. Draw two, yep. Sam? And now I four. That's fine. Where are we at? Can I... Right there. Just the one? Yes. Okay. Keep them face up. Okay. 
There's Minnie. She's that. Central Park. Okay, son. Right now we have both of them, I guess. You gotta play at least one. One? Yeah, at least one card you gotta play. But I don't need that. I don't have that on my list. You, you still have to play a card. But does that count as points? It'll, this, if you touch this one, it'll slot right here. No. Okay, so we'll count Central Park. Now you're wanting them to go that way. Do you want to keep playing more? No. No? I mean, yeah. Sure. Okay. Now you're done? Yeah. Okay, so we'll move them here. Oh, man. This one's definitely the shortest. <laughs> That's a U turn. U turn? Okay. And Sam, it's your turn. Did we finally get that one? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to try and nip for it for this whole darn time. <laughs> Am I the first one who got the gingerbread? Okay. <laughs> Draw two. And I'm only gonna play one. Pile is getting low. Remember, if this pile runs out, it's game over. And whoever can make Buddy go to New York City will get that. will get two. But that's like that. Well, you can play it on the corner too. You can play it right here, or you can play it right here. How do you want it, son? Well, you want it on the corner? I'm saying like. Mm. You want them? Okay, so we're gonna do it like that. Okay. I bet that's it. That's it? All right. What are you doing? She's trying to get him away from New York City. <laughs> She's not ready for the game to be over. I am. You are? Me too. Yeah. Right. That's going to be it. I couldn't get the animal pals of my freaking life depending on it. <laughs> I tried that for the, the, since the very beginning trying to get here. All right, so reveal your locations that you're going to. All right, so um, if you had North Pole City, or I mean, excuse me, Candy Cane Forest, you're going to get three points for that. I think Lock One, he got, or you two tied. Um, if you had World's Best Coffee, you're going to get three more points. So, son, you're at six right now. I'm at three. Uh, the Norwal Pal counts as two, so you're at eight. I'm at five. Uh, Central Park counts as two. Sam, you've got two, or you had five. World's Best Coffee. Yeah, you have five. Uh, I have three, uh, five, seven. So it's eight to seven. Uh, I get two more, so I've got nine. Oh, no, that's nine to eight. Nice. Now it's coming down to gingerbread, men. So how much is yours worth? Two. So you have 10, 10 to nine, 10 to 10, <laughs> 13 <laughs> to 10. You're close, mom got five. Five points for mom. Third place. Yeah. That um, is Elf Journey from the North Pole game. All right, let's uh, take it back up top. All right, so there you go. That was Elf Journey from the North Pole game from Funko Games and Prospero Hall. Hope this was entertaining and informational for you guys out there. This was a three-player playthrough, uh, and uh, it was a lot of fun. Quick, easy game. Uh, get you right in the holiday spirit. Uh, good for families. So, I'm Lance. This is Love to Hate, and we try to bridge the gap between gamers and non-gamers. We'll catch you next time.